The latest drought map is showing a two percentage point decrease in the area of Texas impacted by drought. Now the area in extreme or exceptional drought has decreased by four percentage points, now engulfing 9% of the state. It's the lowest value recorded since late January. According to the Texas Water Development Board, scattered rains have brought at least one category of improvement to large areas of the Panhandle and West, the central portion of the state, and South Texas since late April. However, there are new areas that have developed along the coast and east of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex as those areas really begin to dry out. Now, according to the drought monitor, the Texas Panhandle South Plains region needs more than eight and a half inches of precipitation to break the current drought. Right now, Lubbock is in severe drought, that's known as D2. Amarillo is in extreme drought conditions, that's D3. Clarendon is also in exceptional drought, east of Amarillo, that's D4 but needs almost 11 inches of moisture to break that dry spell. Oklahoma is suffering too as Guyman in the Oklahoma Panhandle needs more than nine and a half inches to break their exceptional drought situation. And with another Ag News update, I'm Tony St. James.